All right, guys. We're going to put exhaust cutouts. They're electric cutouts on this thing. Dual exhaust electric cutouts. So okay. I'll show you how we do it. Stainless steel kit, it's a remote deal, so we gotta wire it and everything, but they make really, really, really high-end ones of these. This one's not a high-end one by any means, but it's a decent one. Okay. So got a little electric motor. Basically, you just this is gonna get welded in. There's flanges that all get welded in place. The nice part about this one is it's V-banded. Right, so you're gonna weld this on to the two oh, exhaust you pieces, you V-band it in. Right, you got this is the cutout itself or the bypass. Okay. So this is gonna go into the exhaust and then it just pop, like that. So this then you got up. open headers and this then ends up going like that. And your and your muffler still. So you or not quite. Open it up. All right. I'll show you how we do it. All right. So obviously, it goes before the muffler, right? So we're going to cut the muffler here. We're going to cut this section out, put this section in it, and then figure out how much room we got to tuck the, uh, the little motor and the actual butterfly out. So for now, I'm just going to cut this piece off here in front of the muffler and then see how much room I have. I was gonna cut it off here. There's a hanger here, so you gotta watch the hanger also. But uh, I think I can make it fit there, like that. I think it'll fit there. And I can put a new hanger on it, all right? All right, so we got this cut off. What I'm gonna do after is take that hanger off and flip it around and put it on top of this muffler. And that, cause this is a lot better to do. A uh, little trick here. So you cut this off, this pipe was inside there. So you got the sleeve, right? Well, put a little slit in it where you can weld it shut again, put the sleeve in it, and then you can just bang that out and that'll come out. Sometimes they come out without doing that, but if they're stuck in there, this one's a little rusted in there. So you just put a little slit in it, bang, comes right out. All right, so now this is going to fit in here. All right, I'm going to cut this back up here, same length that we need. I'll be able to go in and out with that and figure out where it's going to sit. All right, so got that slit into that, welded that on, made myself have enough room where the... The cutout motor is going to sit up in here like this, and it's got a little turn down, so it'll all stay above all this stuff. All right. Uh, let me see if I can get the rest of it. Let that cool down. I'm going to start cutting this side off, and then I got to cut that hanger off and replace the hanger so that the hanger will hold this up. Not that it's going anywhere, but I'm going to put a hanger back on it. All right. All right. So tailpipes are lined up. Mufflers are lined up. Those are in. Welded, put new hanger, put the hanger back on. Put the hanger back facing the same way, actually, because if you ever got to take the exhaust off, you just slide the whole thing off, because that's how the rear ones are. So now, waiting for this to cool down so I could put these all together. Nice part about this is you can actually, if you V-band this side, you can probably V-band both sides, like, um, not V-band, uh, uh, they make a stainless steel band clamp. So a band clamp, like a wide band clamp. You could probably put these on without welding anything, because these all come with double gaskets. Let me show you that part. All right, so, gasket, motor, gasket, V-band flange, nice. And then this right on here. And then you've got a V-band that goes and clamps onto that. So you can actually turn this or whatever you want to do with that. It gets bolted through. And this 
these are threaded so they bolt right to that so there's no nut and bolt it goes right to that nice thick flange works out good and then this uh sorry i mentioned before it was a remote one it's not a remote one it's a hard wire okay so the wires go in through the floor and it's plug and play okay there's a t that goes into both motors and then it tees into the wire that goes up into the car and this can sit under the seat this gets plugged into the cigarette lighter for power okay so I'm waiting for these to cool down so i can mount all that up there tighten all that down run the wires up in here probably gonna make a hole right through the floor here with a little grommet under the seat and then you can run the wire to the cigarette lighter and unplug it if you want to unplug it all right that's that show you what it looks like when it's done we'll try it out all right so you can see how these go they're threaded so you don't have to put a nut on the back of them or anything so it goes your gasket so it goes your tested them before i even put them in to make sure they work obviously yeah, they're pretty cool actually. They got they got a remote and manually. The batteries can... don't come with the remote. Yeah. Just so you know, you gotta get batteries. So then I got a little remote for it if you're in the car. These are the batteries it takes, the little, little tiny ones. So you got this is what all your wire hook setup is. Um here's your manual switch that you can run up into the car. So you're gonna have to get a cigarette outlet. Well, oh, this we had have to one. for one for this. So, so just so you know, right? It made me nuts today. It says 27A 12 volt, right? That's the battery that you gotta get. Well, A27 is the same thing because they don't make a 27A. All right, that's that side. So you put your your uh, gasket first. Then that goes on. Then you put your flange. This goes like this. And your other gasket. This one's gonna go up here like that. And then it all gets to held, held together by the V band. So. Nice, decent setup. Like I said before, I'm sure they make like high end, high end ones of these, but and then you I seen some. I seen anyway. somewhere they slide. So they slide in and out instead of flapping open down. But these, they don't. There's no, there's no air gap, so they're, they're good. Yeah, they're, they're nice. I mean, they, they recess them. So they, if you look, so when this opens, it actually sits against something on both sides. So we'll see. I don't think they're gonna leak anything, so should be fine. That goes like that. That goes like that. And this is gonna go like that. Okay. And that one sits up there. And then obviously yeah, once it's on there you can little. twist the little yeah. down pipe any way you want. So up and over so they don't touch nothing. That was the only thing. You gotta be careful when you're putting them on the outside because the little the little connector ends up in the middle and it might be too short. So see how wide your exhaust is. Alright, I'm gonna finish tightening these up and then I'll okay. show you. Alright, so you got them all tightened up. Both sides, got the wire connection. It's got, like I said, little plug and play connectors. You put them on. I got all them running along there. Josh is trying all the, cutting up all the wire ties. And then it goes to the back of the car, up through the floor. And, and then it goes up into the back. And I'll show you where it goes in the back. He's got a connection back there with the batteries back there. And the, uh, Power. It's got like a little power connector for a cigarette, like a cigarette lighter back lighter. there. It's like a three thing. 
So we're gonna plug it into that. So, plug the wire back in here. And you got the power bank back here, right? You plug your cigarette lighter thing in here. You, yeah. It has a manual one, but you can leave that in there, okay? It's got a little on and off switch thing. Use the little thing. remote, start it up. So it sounds normal. It's, it's loud, but it sounds normal. Sounds good. Yeah. Peppy little boy. All right, All right. I'm gonna back it outside. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the interior. You just got it back from the interior guy, and then I'll give you his uh, phone number his, and everything. His info, Bob's info. He, he's really good. All right. All right. So you get to get a look at this thing out here. All right. Nice little hot rod. So Bob did all the interior on this. It was basically just a shell. No nothing. All right? Beautiful. Did the seats, did the carpet, made the custom mats, all the boots around everything. Headliner, door panels. All the trunk. All right? show you and get a picture of that for you so if you need anything tell me you saw them on VXM video all right all done